Hi, this is Dallas Glass for the Northwest Avalanche Center. We're here today on Friday, February 7th at Mount Rainier National Park. We're at about 5,600 feet on the north side of the castle in the Tattoosh Range. As I approach this slope, a nice wide open slope below a tree line, with a little bit of evidence of some pillowing from the recent wind transport the past couple days, I noticed a nice solid whooping sound and felt my feet drop below me. Decided to take a moment, poke in the snow, and see what was happening. As we look down into our snowpack here, we can see that last night we picked up just a couple of inches of nice soft snow. This rests on a very firm wind slab that has been building with the moderate and strong winds over the past couple days. These new wind slabs are resting on last week's snow. With these super cold air temperatures, this snow has been undergoing a fastening process. You can see when I bounce it in my hand, looks like sugar, acts like sugar, probably facets. As I began to do column tests, some of my columns were failing on isolation. This extended column test failed easily with five taps from the wrist and propagated all the way across the block with the block sliding into the snow pit below me. Be careful out there as you're traveling. Make sure to look for evidence of wind transport like snow removed from trees, pillows, drifts, small cornices, and take the time to look around and poke in the snow to figure out what's going on below your feet. Have a great day and stay safe out there.